hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana bc so tonight you guys i am going to be doing a perfume tag that was created by Celio clio i do hope i'm pronouncing that correctly okay so if you don't know um i'm gonna pop the name of her channel right here to the top and in the description box so so clio recently created a tag where she compares the original versus the flanker now i previously done a video where i compare the original versus the intensives and if you guys have not seen that video i'm gonna pop the link for that video in the description box as well so you guys can check that video out however i am not going to be discussing the exact same fragrances in this video instead what i am going to be doing is comparing the original fragrances of all of the selected perfumes that i have right here today and I'm going to be comparing them with the flanker that was released in 2021. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten fragrances that all have um, new releases in 2021. And I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts on the original versus the flanker. So if this is something you guys are interested in seeing, then by all means, keep on watching. I want to say thank you to Cleo for tagging me. I do appreciate being tagged. I can't wait to do this um, tag. If you guys don't know Cleo, she has an elaborate perfume collection. A mouth-watering, juicy, extensive, beautiful, characterful, expensive perfume collection, you guys. So if you don't know her channel, please... You know head on over there and check her out she has you know uh, selections to die for in her collection so yeah and of course she's absolutely beautiful as well she does a lovely makeup videos also makeup we love okay you guys so yeah without further ado let's just dive right into this video but before we dive into the video please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new here don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and please do give me a thumbs up you guys if you enjoy this video and my thoughts and my content so yeah let's just dive right into it so the first set of fragrances i'm going to be comparing tonight is going to be narcissa rodriguez the original versus ombre now the original Narciso was released in 2014 and the Ombre was released in this year, 2021. Now let me just quickly give you the notes of the Narciso original. So the Narciso Rodriguez um, Narciso, this one has in gardenia, white rose in the top, musk in the heart, cedar, white cedar extract and vetiver in the base you guys. And for me, what can I say again from this perfume? okay so as you can see this perfume isn't that very much complex but what i appreciate is that you smell every single thing that's listed in this perfume and again once you smell this perfume you definitely get the gardenia combining with the rose okay the rose kind of gives the um gardenia for me is a very soft white beautiful floral scent and it comes off a little bit powdery but the rose gives it um somewhat of a colder um, effect a different touch and to the it. musk is very dominant because again this is narcissa rodriguez and obviously in the base you have your cedar and your woody touches overall this smells like a fresh sweet powdery musky white floral scent okay so this is the narciso the original next we have the ombre and the ombre has in french pani ylang ylang white flowers musk amber in the heart and cashmere and vanilla and cedar for me you guys okay Ooh. okay for me the ombre smells a little bit more warmer it smells a little bit more florally okay there is a slight tropical essence to this perfume it does smell quite similar to the original narciso okay obviously this perfume has in the touches of amber in this fragrance and the you know those the lang lang and the frangipani in the top okay you do get those floral essence at the top of this perfume and to me i would say there is a slight deviation between the ombre and the original narciso now if i was to recommend one of these perfumes which one would i recommend 
I know you guys are probably going to think she's crazy, but I'm going to say. <laughs> I would love to tell you guys to go out there so and grab the new 2021 release. But if I could only choose between the two of these, I would go with the original. <laughs> there is something about this one that smells clean. It smells clean. It smells um, fresh. It smells a little bit more sophisticated than the ombre. It smells a little bit sweeter. The musk is a lot more prominent because there's only musk in the heart. So, you know, even though in the ambre, in the ambre, there is musk and amber in the heart. So the musk isn't standing out. I got to say to you guys, when it comes to Narciso Rodriguez, I really love the touch. I had never realized how beautiful musk was in fragrances. This is a beautiful scent, you guys. And for me, the gardenia in the rose to the top is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And even though I love my tropical fragrances... Yeah, the frangipani and the ylang, ylang is standing out in the top of this perfume. It's not standing out enough to go against this one, in my opinion. So I'm going to have to say, if I was to recommend one of these, one out of two of these perfumes, I would go with the original. So, <laughs> so yeah, there you have it, you guys. I would definitely choose the Narciso Rodriguez, the original versus the Ombre. So that's that one. Next, we have ooh, Valentino Born in Roma, the original, and Valentino Born in Roma, Yellow Dreams, you guys. Okay, now, you know what? These are no strangers to the, um, the fragrance community. Everybody loves this perfume. This is your sweet black currant vanilla um, and woody smelling perfume. There's essence of bogmat in this fragrance as well. Okay, but overall... This is a sweet, edgy, black currant with some florally touches to this perfume and some woody touches in the base. In my opinion, Valentina kind of has this um, somewhat leathery essence uh, DNA in his perfume. And I'm not just saying that because the original Donna has in um, leather. I do feel that there is some slight leathery touches in his fragrances. And I think that's Valentino's DNA and I quite love it so this is a beautiful scent this is a very vibrant and playful yet womanly and edgy fragrance that I personally class as my girl's night out scent for me this is the ideal fragrance to pull for on those girl night out it is a chick and womanly you know smelling perfume and the edginess the boldness in this fragrance I truly appreciate and I really really love Next, um, so Valentina brought out the Valentino Yellow Dreams in 2021. Now, this one has in lemon, musk, and rose, right? I said thing there's some lemon at the top, rose in the heart, and some musk in the base. And that's all he listed, but we know the drill. We know the drill, okay, when it comes to these perfume. For me, this smells like a fresh, sweet lemon zesty and rose smelling perfume with essence of musk you definitely get the slight presence of jasmine in this perfume there's some sweetness in the heart or there's some sweetness overall in this fragrance that comes off like jasmine okay for me again those leathery touches for me i get somewhat leathery touches this perfume doesn't just smell like a fresh citrusy rose and musk smelling perfume there's a there is valentino dna to this perfume there is for me a slight leathery touch slight leather essence in the base that makes this perfume simple yet so beautiful and somewhat edgy at the same time i'm going to have to say and this is a tough one for me you guys this is a tough tough one this is absolutely beautiful okay um i love both of these perfumes let me just remind myself how i feel about valentino banaroma oh god so beautiful the black current okay this is hard for me i'm gonna have to say this is a really hard pick for me okay because <laughs> i love both of these perfumes you guys 
when it comes to Valentina Bonnie Roma, Valentina Yellow Dreams, I love both of these fragrances. If I had to choose between the two of them, I would choose the two. <laughs> but we can't do that, right? Um, yes. I'm going to be honest enough and say that I would go with the Valentino Bond in Roma, the, um, the original one. The reason being is because this one is a more of an all year rounder. It is sweeter. It has a bit more oomph to it, a bit more character to it. It's a lot more playful, a lot more versatile and can be worn all year round. I do think this one can be worn all year round as well, but it's a bit more, yeah, it's more, it's more for the spring and the summer. I do think you can wear it, you know, it can be worn all year round, but it's not going to shine as much as it would in the spring and summer, whereas this one can be worn all year round. So if I had to choose, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't, honestly, but just for the video, you guys, I'm going <laughs> to... I really wouldn't. I wouldn't choose between the two. I have to have them both. But I would recommend the Valentina Barn in Roma. You get more use out of this one. It is all year round. Very playful, very chic, and very edgy and exciting smell and perfume. So this is Valentino Barn in Roma and Valentino Yellow Dreams. And next we have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. The infamous Light Blue Intense versus the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Forever. The newest release on Dolce & Gabbana. This is a 2021 release. Now... You all know the um, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense, this one here. So this one is your fresh, citrusy, sweet, um, zesty smelling perfume with the essence of green apple and lemons opening up in the top of this perfume. It is bright, it is sparkling, very refreshing. And in the heart, there is some jasmine and some musk in the base. But for me, overall, you get the Granny Smith apple and the lemon. You just get a citrusy, bright burst of lemon and Granny Smith apple in the openness perfume. And overall, this perfume is very much eerie, light, fresh, and very much musky, okay? It is not that sweet. This is a beautiful scent, you guys. Beautiful scent to go for. For me, I don't know. You guys know, if you frequent my channel, you know how I feel about Dolce & Gabbana, okay? Beautiful perfume. That Granny Smith apple. Is definitely something special okay and then we have the Dolce & Gabbana the light blue forever and this one yeah this one is a little bit more lemon dominant okay so let me just tell you guys the notes in this one so this one has in lemon blood orange green apple orange blossom white flowers cedar white musk and cashmere for me again I get the lemon Okay, this one has in the Granny Smith apple, but the apple is not as sweet as it is in the original. Again, this one comes off, yeah, it almost comes off like a spicy lemon smelling perfume. Okay, there aren't any spices listed in this perfume, but there is the bitter orange. But it, so it comes off a lot more sharper, a lot more citrusy, a lot more bright and eerie. You get more of that floral touches in the heart of this perfume it is not as musky as the original instead it is a bit more sparkling and bright and eerie and fresh and definitely a beautiful summer fragrance okay definitely you can definitely smell the original dna in the newest flanker how do i feel about these fragrances if I had to choose between the two of these perfumes, <laughs> this is hard, okay? All of this, this is going to be hard, so just bear with me, okay? Yeah, okay. Oops. Ha. Okay, for me, this is hard, okay? But I'm going to say to you guys, if I'm going to recommend these two fragrances, <laughs> no, we're not recommending, okay? If I was to recommend, I would tell you guys to go with this one because this is infamous. This is, you know, um, it's a very popular summer selection, you know. For me, I prefer this one. So if I was to choose, I wouldn't. Come on, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I review fragrances. I wouldn't. But, um... <laughs> 
I prefer this one, you guys. I definitely prefer this one. I definitely prefer Dolce and Cabana Light Blue Forever. It is a bit more, is a bit more citrusy. It is sparkling. It is bright. You know, the lemon zestiness in this perfume, it's it stands out. I don't know. For me, this is like little miss sunshine in a bottle. This is this is this is me, you guys. I love this perfume. I love Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Forever. I do love the original, but it's something about this, you know, the airiness, how bright it is. I prefer the forever one. 10 times over than this one i don't know <laughs> so there you have it you guys these are my thoughts i definitely prefer the dutch and Gavana light blue forever next we have another original flanker versus a new release so we have the moschino tie to versus tie to bubblegum now both of these fragrances are new to my collection this brand on a whole is new to my collection so I'm going to be telling you how I feel about both of these fragrances. I'm going to start off with this one right here. I'm just telling you the notes in the original. This one has an apple, mandarin, orange, magnolia in the top, white currant, white currant, peony, jasmine in the heart, musk, amberwood, and sandalwood. Okay, and for me, you guys, this perfume, ooh, ah, this smells like you definitely when you smell this perfume you definitely get the white currant the sweet white currant in the opening with the apples and the magnolia okay and in the heart you get the peonies for me this is a soft sweet um delicate fruity floral smelling perfume what stands out is definitely the white currant combined with the apple and the mandarin orange it comes off like white peaches it comes off like soft white peaches in this perfume. The peonies in the heart of this perfume combined with the jasmine. It makes this perfume smell very delicate, very soft. And for me, I don't really get much of the woody touches in the base. I don't really get much of the musk. But it, this is just an overall, a fresh, clean, soft, white, fruity floral fragrance with the essence of white currants and apple and the mandarin and it pretty much comes off like sweet peaches you guys this is an absolutely beautiful smelling perfume next we have the flanker now let's just get into this and of course the flanker so this one was released in 2021 moschino tied to bubblegum this one has in candied fruits bitter orange lemon Bubblegum, Bulgarian rose, blueberry, cinnamon, peach, ginger, peach blossom, and the base, and boxing musk and cedar. And what you get from this perfume, I think we already know by now, it smells like bubblegum. It smells like sweet, juicy. You, you definitely get those candied, fruity notes in this perfume. Okay. But overall, you get bubble. You definitely get the bubblegum with the cinnamon touches. You definitely get the cinnamon, okay? So even though you get that bubblegummy essence, you definitely pick up the candied fruity um, essence, which is giving that, you know, sweetness to the bubblegum. You definitely pick up the um, the cinnamon. And of course, the peach and the peach blossom. You definitely get that in this perfume. Now for me, you guys, these are beautiful scents. And I know, right, I know people are thrown off by the bottles because I was thrown off by these bottles as well. I, I said to myself, I wouldn't be caught dead buying these bottles. <laughs> That's what I said to myself. I wouldn't be caught dead buying these perfumes because the bottles are hideous and yada yada. But the bottles are so cute. I don't know. These perfumes completely grew on me. And I got to say, I love them both. If I was to choose, um, or should I say, if I was to recommend, I would recommend. If I was to recommend this perfume, I would recommend the Thai Bai too because it is a fresh, um, soft and delicate fruity floral smelling fragrance i think it is more crowd pleasing i think more people would take to this perfume people would you know if they manage to look past the bottle of this fragrance i think they would be intrigued by the scent of this perfume however if i had to choose between the both once again i wouldn't but I think this one here is more of a crowd pleaser all wrong okay this one smells like pub bubblegum this one comes across a little bit more playful i know some people may possibly find this fragrance a little bit juvenile 
it's a playful scent it's chic it's girly it's pretty it's cute it's summery it's bright it's a pretty fragrance you got this is a beautiful perfume very pretty i love them both i would recommend this one if i can choose between the two of them again i wouldn't i would i can't even choose for this video i'm so sorry you guys i'm so i hope you guys aren't confused <laughs> I'm telling you what this perfume smell like okay but i would recommend this one right here but i definitely prefer this scent but i love them both so these are my thoughts on tie two and tie two bubblegum <laughs> next we have a, another flanker versus its newly released um flanker so we have la nuit trésor versus the la nuit trésor dentel de roses you guys now this one actually came out in 2021 i have the 50 ml i just think i think it, it only comes in a 50 ml or maybe it comes big i'm not quite sure but i got that one okay now the lanny trezor we all know this perfume this fragrance has in a galore of notes has in some peel tangerine bergamot strawberry vanilla orchid black rose passion fruit praline caramel lychee patchouli vanilla incense and just too many notes but it's a beautiful scent okay so when you smell this perfume you definitely get the peel and the tangerine and the bogomac, it is standing out in the top of this perfume, even though this fragrance hasn't so much. So you get to pee your tangerine, your bogomac. You get the strawberry essence in this fragrance. You definitely pick up the sweetness from the passion fruit combining with the rose. You get those in this fragrance. Yeah. And of course, the lychee and the patchouli in this perfume. And even though there's vanilla and caramel, for me, the top notes, the fruity notes, the passion fruit mixed with the strawberries, the tangerine, the bergamot, these, the fruity notes in this perfume give it a lot of sweetness. So the vanilla is like an underlying base to this perfume. Beautiful scent. This is an absolutely beautiful fragrance that I was won over from the very first time that I smelled this perfume. And then we have the newest flanker, Dentel the Roses, and the composition. This one is a lot more simpler. In the top, you have some raspberry, some mandarin orange, and in the heart, you have some rose and the base, some velvet and some suede. Now, it definitely does smell a lot more simplified. It is not as sweet, okay? You can def it doesn't smell as complex or should i say it's not as congested as the original you can definitely tell that in this perfume in its simplest form you get the sweetness from the raspberry and the mandarin okay yeah you definitely get the sweetness from the raspberry and the mandarin okay and you definitely get the rose okay the rose comes off yeah it's the same rose that you get from in the original lenny trezon now this is going to be easy in comparison to all the other you know um, um fragrances and the flanker this one is easy for me i'm gonna have to say you don't need the dental roses now if i had to choose again this is easy i love the lenny Tresor. you don't need the dental the roses it would be nice to try it it is a much more simplified version but this one gives you everything and more which in my opinion it's beautiful but every flanker that they bring out after this it's notes from within this so it's like they went in the opposite direction to every other brand they gave you a fragrance with everything and more and then all the other perfumes they've simplified it and removed some of the notes so this one right here you get a composition of all the other flankers within one fragrance so for me this one right here is easy you guys all you need is the lanry tracer so there you have it i do hope you guys aren't confused <laughs> and if you are i really do apologize i do love my fragrances okay so this is a hard choice for me to choose between the two because all of these fragrances are absolutely beautiful selections you guys i do and would encourage you to still smell them if you can to choose which one you know you personally would like to buy i really like but for me i love all these fragrances and some more than the other but not significantly enough for me to uh <laughs> not want to have all of them in my collection but yeah so there you have it you guys these are my thoughts regarding these um, flankers versus the original, which is a tag that was created by C. Leo, um, Cleo. 
if you guys haven't seen her video yet please you know um, check out the description box for the link to her video and if in fact you did enjoy this video please do give me a thumbs up if you guys are new here please do hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload see you guys in my next video bye